It's day nine in the January transfer window and reports are stating that Tottenham have agreed a £28 million deal for AC Milan forward Christoph Piatek. Welcome back to another video. So it is day nine of the January transfer window. We are almost a third of the way into this January transfer window. I'm going to go through all of the rumours and reports from today, all of the players that Tottenham have been linked with. And uh, let's go through a few stories as well of possible um, Tottenham players leaving the club this month. So let's start with a Tottenham player that could possibly be leaving the club this January transfer window, Juan Foyth. Now, Juan Foyth's agent, Claudio Curti, has revealed that the defender could leave Spurs this month. Um, he has only featured um, seven times in seven competitive games for Tottenham so far this season. Of course, he got injured in the Audi Cup in the summer. Um, I think Mauricio Pochettino was going to be using Juan Foyth or starting the season with Juan Foyth as right back. That didn't quite happen because of the injury problems. Um, so he has had very, very limited chances at Tottenham throughout this season. Now, um, Juan Foyth's agent, Curti, said, we are evaluating the possibility of going out in the January market. We wait for this week to find out clarity with Tottenham. Now, let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section below. If you had your choice, would you let Juan Foyth leave in this January transfer window? So next, let's talk a little bit about the uh, the club news today. Tottenham put out an announcement about Harry Kane. Of course, a couple of days ago, Tottenham put out an announcement about Musa Sissoko uh, undergone surgery. And Musa Sissoko is expected to return to training in early April. So that doesn't even mean that Musa Sissoko could even come back for this season. He might even be back for next. Now, really bad news again for Tottenham today. Um, we know We knew that Harry Kane's injury was bad. Um, but this is a huge blow because Harry Kane it has been confirmed that he has been ruled out now for up to three months with his hamstring injury. Um, the Tottenham statement said, following ongoing assessment by our medical staff over the past week, we can confirm that Harry Kane will undergo surgery to repair a ruptured tendon in his left hamstring. It then goes on to say the decision to undergo surgery is not expected to impact the time frame that the England captain will be sidelined with the expectation that he will return to training in April. Well, of course, very similar to Musa Sissoko. So it's not even um, it's not even confirmed uh, that he could even come back this season, because if you, you're coming back to training in April, um, it's very, very unlikely that you're going to get back to full fitness to be playing in Premier League games um, in April or even for the start of May. So this is really, really bad news. Two of uh, Tottenham's key players, Musa Zoko and Harry Kane, out until at least April. So the next story out today is about Gareth Bale. I know a lot of us... Um, want Gareth Bale back and uh, a lot of us are dreaming of the day that Gareth Bale walks back um, into Tottenham as a Tottenham player but it doesn't look like that that's going to be very likely certainly not this year um, his agent Jonathan Barnett um, has said that it is very unlikely that he will leave um, Real Madrid in this January transfer window and very unlikely that he will even leave at the end of the 2019-2020 season so it doesn't look like that Gareth Bale will be signing for any club, let alone Tottenham Hotspur. So next up, let's talk about Jack Clark. He returned on loan from Leeds on the 2nd of January, so just a week ago. Um, and apparently Tottenham are now trying to find a new club uh, where Jack Clark can spend the second half of this season on loan. Now, Middlesbrough boss Jonathan Woodgate has admitted that he really wants to sign um, Jack Clark on loan. He told the Northern Echo, I really like Jack Clark. He's a really, really top player, but he's a Spurs player at the minute. I do like Jack Clark, but are we going to get him? I don't think so, but he's a very, very good player. Now, lots of clubs would be interested in Jack Clark. I'm hoping that um, either we keep him 
and uh, we perhaps try and use him um, because the first half of the season um, he was on loan at Leeds. He played a, less than, I think, 20 minutes of first team football for Leeds in the whole of the first half of the season. So um, the whole point on, in going out on loan um, to a club in lower leagues is so the players get game time. He hasn't had that. So the next club that he does go to on loan... Um, He's got to get game time. Otherwise, there's no point putting him out and we might as well keep him ourselves, um, bearing in mind the injury problems we've got right now. Um, let me know in the comments section below what you would do with Jack Clark. Would you keep him at Tottenham for possible game time? Um, or would you loan him out to a lower league club? Um, if so, who? Because a lot of clubs are interested right now. Reports out today in the Spanish press stating that Tottenham are set to bid for Barcelona right-back Nelson Semedo. Apparently, his agent has uh, agreed to switch, um, very happy to, to do the deal. And uh, even if Tottenham fail to qualify for the Champions League at the end of this season, uh, the reports adds that Tottenham are set to make an offer of around £30 million, but Barcelona are holding out for near £42 million. Another report out today, this time from The Athletic, and they are stating that Crystal Palace could be in for Carl Walker-Peters this January transfer window, um, signing him on loan for six months, which will take us up to the end of the season. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you had your choice, would you let Carl Walker-Peters leave or would you keep him as cover for Serge Aurier if we do not sign a right-back in this January transfer window? So just while I'm filming this video, um, there has been some news out from the Sun newspaper um, and they are stating that Tottenham have agreed a deal worth £28 million for AC Milan forward Christoph Piatek. The Polish striker, 24, is set to sign a three and a half year contract and scheduled to complete a medical in the next 48 hours. It then states that Tottenham will pay an initial fee of £23.8 million with a further £4.2 million in add-ons. Thanks for watching this short video. If you don't subscribe to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and uh, let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section below. And fingers crossed, we get this signing done in the next 24 to 48 hours. Um, Christoph Piatek, a new striker for Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. Let's hope so. Come on, you Spurs.